my name is Bati or Albert Umanga. I'm a first generation New Zealand born Samoan. Dad laying down the rule that we had to speak Samoan at home and English outside of the house, I thought was ridiculous. And it was pretty hard to try and sort of come to grips with living in two worlds, you know, the Palangi world as well as the Samoan world. Unless you live and practice what um, the family in Samoa is involved, you'll never understand some of the feelings and some of the things involved in, the, in that family circle. In New Zealand, it's got a really good, uh, good job and good money. Yeah, that's why I asked to my father, so he said, I can come. So I have to ask him to give me a permission first. But he said, well, you can go. But you remember this, you go there and do something for your family and your parents. 45 years now since I've been in New Zealand. Samoa had been under German rule until the outbreak of the First World War. In 1914, New Zealanders arrived and Samoa was the first German territory to fall to the Allies. Although New Zealand took charge of Samoan administration from the 1920s, there was strong opposition from the Mao, a Samoan independence movement. In 1962, Samoa was the first Polynesian nation to become independent. <laughs> 